If you're a big bass angler and you haven't tried a fly rod, you're missing out on some of Kansas' most exciting fishing. During cooler months, minnow imitations are deadly in shallow water. But with summer's heat, big topwater flies bring out the best in fishing action. Tie on a popper or a deer hair bug and a 9 foot 5 weight fly rod may be your ticket to unforgettable memories. A float tube is a great way to sneak into the haunts of summer bass. This allows a stealthy presentation close to bass hangouts like stumps, stick-ups, and notches in floating moss. Early and late day are the best times. Drop a 3-inch fly into a good spot, let it sit a moment, and twitch it back. But keep a firm grip on the rod and be ready to hang on. Bass of all sizes will hit topwater flies and you'll catch your share of little ones. These usually sip the fly, causing little ruckus. But when a lunker rises for the take, it's a different story. Now the water explodes and you'll likely get jump after jump at eye level from the float tube. There's just nothing like it. When a big bass runs deep on a fly rod, you'll feel power that far surpasses what's normal on typical short and stout bass rods. A five pounder will provide a fight you'll never forget, sometimes tail walking, sometimes jumping, sometimes surging for the bottom. Since they'll often pull you into the moss or brush to escape, it's a good idea to use 10 pound tippet for topwater fishing. Still not convinced? Watch a few of the battles experienced in an hour on a recent evening in the Kansas Pond. Kansas Topwater Fly Fishing. Get hooked on this outdoor passion. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism.